Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the path instrumentation techniques used in software testing. So as we discussed, a path through a program is a sequence of statements that starts at an entry junction or a decision point as well as it ends at another junction, decision or exit point in the same program. A path may go through several junctions, processes, decisions or logics one or more times. A path consists of different segments and the smallest segments is known as link. When we come to the path instrumentation, the path instrumentation is what we have to do is to confirm that the outcome was achieved by the intended path. The coincidental correctness stands for achieving the desired outcome for a wrong reason. This figure is an example of a routine that for the chosen input value x is equal to 16 yield the same outcome y is equal to 2 no matter which case we select. Therefore the test chosen this way will not tell us whether we have achieved the coverage. For example the 5 cases could be totally jumbled and still the outcome would be the same. Path instrumentation is what we have to do to confirm that the outcome was achieved by the intended path. The different types of instrumentation methods includes interpretive trace programs, traversal marker or link marker, two link marker method and fourth one is a link counter method. In the interpretive trace program, an interpretive trace program is one that executes every statements in order and records the intermediate value of all calculations, the statement labels and traversals etc. If we run the tested routine under a trace, then we have all informations we need to confirm the outcome and furthermore to confirm that it was achieved by the intended path. The trouble with the traces is that they give us far more information that we need. In fact, the typical trace program provides so much information that Confirming the path from its massive output dump is more work than simulating the computer by hand to confirm the path. The second one is the traversal marker or a link marker. A simple and effective form of instrumentation is called as a traversal marker or link marker. Name every link by the lowercase letter. Instrument the links so that the link's name is recorded when the link is executed. The succession of letters produced in going from the routine's entry to the exit should, if there are no bugs, exactly correspond to the path name. Why the single marker aren't enough? Unfortunately, a single link marker may not do the trick because links can be chewed by open bugs. We intended to traverse the IKM path, but because of rampaging go to in the middle of the M link, we go to the process B. If coincidental correctness is against us, the outcome will be the same and we won't know about the bug. So these are the conditions for traversal marker or link marker method. The third one is two link marker method. The solution to a problem of a single link marker method is to implement two marker per link. One at the beginning of each link and one at the end of each link. The two link marker now specifies the path name and confirms both the beginning and end of the link. And the fourth one is a link counter. A less disruptive or less informative instrumentation method is based on a counter. Instead of a unique link name to be pushed into a string, when the link is traversed, we simply increment a link counter. We now confirm that the path length is as expected. The same problem that led us to double link marker also led us to double link counters. 
So these are the different methods used in path instrumentations. The four different methods are interpretative tracy programs. Second one is the traversal mark or link marker. Third one is two link marker method and fourth one is link counter method. Or simply a path in a program means a path through a program is a sequence of statements that starts at an entry junction or a decision and ends at another junction decision or an exit program or exit point and the smallest segment in a program is known as a link and the link is a single process that lies between two different nodes so my dear students kindly go through this assignment question the question is write in detail about the path instrumentation in software testing environment so dear students by this lecture we had completed the first module of software testing from the next set of lectures we are discussing the second module that is white box testing mechanisms so see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best